Uh, but you need to get back on that horse, like Justin said. You know, again, I'm going to jump out to Stephen King because he's probably got more books than anybody living uh, published on a yearly basis. They've got, the guy just writes. He's a computer in, in and of himself, right? He's just, it's what he does. But I guarantee that does, it doesn't just come naturally to him. I bet he had to work at taking the time out of his day to sit down and right and it's been years and years and years of that manifesting where it's just become second nature so it's easy for him to do now and that's exactly what we need to do as well find that second nature for writing and then just push through it i'll finish with this and the the reason i'm bringing this up is because one of my favorite writers is stephen king as well and one of the Best books on writing I've ever listened to because I listened to the, the audiobook version is On Writing by Stephen King. Hopefully, if we see his name enough, he'll be a guest on the show. <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> but anyways, uh, I, I, he tells his his personal story of writing, but also throws in his advice as well. And I, I, I think one of the biggest things for him when he was starting to write like he was drugged out on a lot of his stories and he brings this up in on writing mm -hmm. and how his writing changed which was not that drastic of a change from the time he was doing drugs to the time he was clean is just a, an inspiring story in and of itself too So with that, I think we're going to wrap up this introductory episode uh, going into episode two. And of course, you guys can go ahead and jump right on that because that's already released at this point. Uh, and that is to write or not to write, setting goals and finding motivation, which is probably the hardest thing for any of us to do. And we just talked about that a little bit, uh, finding the motivation to do this thing and setting those goals. So you can go ahead and jump right on over to that episode right now. And then over the coming weeks, we'll be releasing more and more. We are going to be doing seasons. So this first season is kind of just getting you, it, getting us all kind of in the mindset to write regularly and how to go about doing that. Uh, and then as we progress through season two and season three, we're going to get deeper and deeper into character development and how you're going to find your plot shift your plot into points a b you don't have these little minor plots happening around your main character because let's face it even in modern life our day every day-to-day -day basis we all have a single goal right and that goal might be to simply live <laughs> till we're old but we have all these other little subplots like oh we have kids over here we got the job over here we got these hobbies like those are little subplots within our lives and that's something we're going to talk about in the future as well and of course we're definitely going to get into publishing, but we're going to get into that a little later uh, in this series because, again, we want you to work with us uh, as kind of like a little, it's like a little roller coaster, right? We're going to start to finish um, and we'll be bringing people on to talk about all of this stuff. Successful writers who have published books, uh, stories, and screenplays, and I think it's going to be a really great time. So we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Anything you want to add, Justin, though, before we go? No, I appreciate you, you guys for listening. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next episode. All right. Goodbye.